If you want to be the hero at the smoke sesh, watch this video. What is good guys? In today's video, we're talking about canoeing. This affects blunts, joints, and everything in between. Hey Delta. Ugh. We're going to talk about why this happens and how to stop it from happening in this video. Am I boring you? By the end of the video, if you guys do like the video, drop a like on the video, drop a comment if you learned something. You guys went crazy in the last video. It was like ranks like one out of 10, best performing video in the past 10 videos, and I, I owe it to you guys, so I do appreciate all the support. Say bye to the camera. Yep, yep, right over there. Oh my God, he's biting the microphone. Stop it. No shot, you're just falling asleep like that. There we go. Now, canoeing. Canoeing happens when basically one part of the blunt or joint starts to burn unevenly. It's called canoeing because if you keep letting it burn, eventually the burn side is going to look like a canoe. Basically a giant burn that curves into the joint. Now, this is bad for many reasons. For one, aesthetically, it just looks bad if it happens, right? Second, and most importantly, it's not gonna smoke as well. Let's say you let it burn on one side. Eventually, this side is not gonna have any support. So pretty much weed that's not even smoked yet can just fall out of the side. And when there's a giant gash on the side of it, the airflow is not gonna be as good versus something that's completely covered so you have a more compact hit but a tighter packed joint or blunt is going to give you a more consistent burn so if there's like a tiny air pocket that's not really filled you can kind of just press your finger against it you didn't roll it tight enough when the cherry reaches the level where there's a giant air pocket it's going to burn a lot faster versus if it was filled up so one roll tighter two light it evenly this is really hard sometimes especially if it's windy outside if it's not lit evenly you're already off to a bad start this can be really hard to do especially if you're like in a windy area where you really can't control where the flame is touching the actual joint make sure as best you can whether you got to like cover off like where the wind's coming from just make sure it's actually being lit evenly what i like to do especially if there's wind i'll start lighting it and start twirling it around just like that so that way if wind is affecting it it's going to affect the entire area so if i do that i can still get an even burn i don't really have to worry about it canoeing right off the rip after lighting it like this i always like to take a hit and check out the cherry and if it looks pretty lit on all sides then i know i did it correctly last but not least if you did everything correctly and it still canoes you can still fix it a lot of the old heads already know this trick Whatever side is canoeing, take your finger, put some saliva on it, and start kind of like where the canoe meets the paper. You want to put some saliva on it to moisten it. What this is going to do is slow down the actual burning on that side, and then by the time it dries, it's going to even out, and then the burn will be consistent again. This is like a last resort kind of thing, because if you're with friends, they might not like how you put saliva on the blend. But then again, if you're rolling it, then it already has saliva, so who fucking cares? But that's like the last resort, but that is the most effective in trying to save the joint or the blunt from canoeing any further. And if you don't have saliva because you have cotton mouth, you can use water too. I always have water bottles with me. It's just a little bit more convenient to like, you know? I almost forgot to mention this. Another big reason why your stuff can canoe is if you're dragging way too hard. That's probably the biggest reason why joints canoe, to be honest. Especially in smoke circles where people are like, all right, I got two hits, and they're like, I'm gonna make you count. And they like drag so hard because they wanna get the most amount of smoke, right? What they don't realize is they're gonna pass a canoe joint to the next person. The next person's gonna have to relight it, make sure it's even again. And now it's just kind of like a stall and such. Like nobody wants to do that. We all just wanna like chill, talk, and just pass it without having to relight it. It's kind of a hassle, you know? So don't be that person that's hitting it way too hard because that's why the canoes a lot of times, especially closed garages that have like no wind inside and it was rolled evenly and it was lit evenly. That's probably the biggest reason why it's canoeing because you're, someone's dragging it way too hard. Don't be that person, you'll be all right. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you uh, prevent canoeing, why it happens and uh, how to save your joint or blunt from canoeing in the future. Now it's getting harsh. That's gonna be the video, guys. Appreciate you guys for coming through. Drop a like, drop a comment. We got videos coming out this entire week, so I'm not even tripping over a shorter video. Hopefully you guys don't either. You guys love the long video. I posted the, the King Palm video, that was like 24 minutes. I, feel, I, I like making those videos because it's less work for me, you know? I can just talk and not cut out all the fluff, and uh, it makes for a longer video. It puts us in the algorithm, so I just wanted to get this video out for anybody that, you know, is going through some trouble when it comes to canoeing, wonder why it happens, how to fix it, that kind of stuff. Appreciate you guys for coming through. I'll catch y'all later tomorrow. That one's gonna be a longer video. I'm gonna get started on it tonight, and I'll catch you guys later tomorrow in the afternoon, or in the morning, or at night, depending on where you're watching this from. Catch you guys later. Love y'all.